All right, we're shifting focus. There's some breaking news coming in. We're learning about the fact that JNK parties have gone to the Supreme Court over Article 370's abrogation. Four Jammu and Kashmir based parties have now filed a review petition. The plea is against the Supreme Court bench upholding Article 370's abrogation. We're crossing over to my colleague Harish to get us more details on this. Uh, Harish, could you tell us which specific parties? I'm assuming this would include the PDP as well as the National Conference. Tell us about the other parties that are involved in this. And could you explain what they're saying in their plea as well? Yes, in fact, the contents of the petitions are still awaited uh, because uh, it has just been filed. Uh, the, uh, a group of uh, uh, local parties from Jammu and Kashmir have filed a review petition. Uh, against the December 11 uh, Supreme Court Constitution Bench judgment, uh, which had upheld abrogation of Article uh, 370. Uh, remember, uh, the uh, the bench had confirmed that the president could unilaterally issue a notification that Article 370 ceases to exist. The court held that president has power to abrogate Article 370 if special circumstances warrant a special solution. In the appeals court view, uh, following the instrument of access and accession and the insurance of proclamation dated November 25, 1949, by which Constitution India was adopted, State of Jammu Kashmir did not retain any element of sovereignty, and uh, very significantly, uh, the court had also directed the Center for Restoration of Statehood uh, to Jammu Kashmir and our for holding assembly elections to be held not later than September 2024. So, uh, these uh, group of uh, local parties have said that the entire judgment is erroneous and has cited several grounds uh, on uh, for uh, on, on for uh, saying that uh, this uh, judgment needs to be reviewed. And uh, the details of the petitions are awaited, but the biggest takeaway now is that a group of political parties from Jammu Kashmir has approached the Supreme Court with a review petition seeking, uh, seeking review, re-examination of the December 11 uh, Supreme Court Constitution bench judgment, mm -hmm. uh, which had uh, upheld abrogation of Article 370. Back to you. Mm -hmm. All right, Harish, thank you so much for joining us and giving us those details. Remember, more details are awaited at the moment because the parties have just filed their plea. Right now, we'll be heading into a very short break, but do stay tuned because we'll be right back with more.